The Lenovo Legion 5 is the fastest Ryzen gaming laptop with GTX 1660 Ti graphics that I've tested so far, and it's under a thousand US dollars. Updated prices can be found in the description. This is the first Ryzen gaming laptop I've ever had with a MUX switch. This gives you better performance in games by allowing you to disable the integrated graphics and use the Nvidia graphics, it just requires a reboot to swap between. The screen is great too, it's got good colour gamut, good brightness, free sync, and the fastest response time I've ever tested for a 140 44Hz panel, just a 4.6 millisecond average greater gray response time. You need to enable overdrive mode in the Vantage software to activate the faster response time. The highest performance mode also applies a little GPU overclock too. Outside of gaming, the 8-core 16-thread processor is tied with some other excellent options in Cinebench R20. Seriously impressive performance for the price. It doesn't get too hot either, the exterior never felt hot to the touch, and the CPU never passed 90 degrees Celsius, and the GPU never passed 70, and that was where the gaming or running heavy stress test. Inside we've got the 60 watt hour battery down the front and a 2.5 inch drive bay on the left, but you can also get it with a larger 80 watt hour battery and no drive bay, or take out the drive bay and get access to a second M.2 storage slot. Otherwise there are two memory slots in the middle, M.2 storage slot on the right, and Wi-Fi 6 card above. Battery life was decent considering the size of the battery, lasting for more than 6 hours in my YouTube playback test, thanks to the efficiencies of Ryzen. That's with Optimus enabled, you can also disable Optimus for better performance in games, but I found that to lower the battery life to below 4 hours in the same test. Build quality is fine, it's a solid plastic with a sort of rubberized material on the interior. There's some flex if you go looking for it, but I found it quite sturdy. The white backlit keyboard felt great to type with, and I like that the arrow keys are full size rather than being smaller and crammed in with the rest. The precision touchpad is nice and smooth and works well. The power button lights up based on the performance mode that you've got enabled, and you can change this through the Vantage software or with the function plus Q shortcut. The speakers are underneath down the front and they sound above average with a little bass. IO is decent, the left just has a USB type A port and 3.5mm audio combo jack, while the right has another USB type A port. The larger 17 inch model also has a full size SD card slot here too. The rest is on the back which I personally find preferable as bulky cables cables run out the back and stay out of the way. We've got Gigabit Ethernet, USB Type-C port with DisplayPort out, two more USB Type-A ports for four in total, HDMI 2.0 output, power in, and Kensington lock. There's no Thunderbolt and you cannot use Type-C to charge the machine. The 720p camera is up the top in the middle, and honestly it looks pretty crap, but that's one of the few downsides with the Legion 5, and it does at least have a physically sliding privacy shutter. So what makes the Legion 5 better than say the HP Omen 15 or Electronics RP15? This thing is just 988 US dollars at the time of recording. Again, updated prices can be found in the description. So this is cheaper than those options, plus it has the advantage of a MUX switch, faster screen response time, free sync, and it performs better in games. So all of that while being cheaper is pretty impressive. I plan on doing a full detailed comparison between all of those laptops over on the main channel though. Let me show you just how well this laptop performs in 20 different games in this video. I've also compared it with other laptops, including the Omen 15 and RP15, so you can see how it's stacks up. So I'll see you over in that video. And if you're new to the channel then definitely get subscribed for future laptop reviews like this one.